Hey, Harry Wilmington here, and today's lesson is never accept a friendship deal if you're trying to go for a relationship. You have to be willing to walk away if you're not getting the terms with the woman that you want as it pertains to going forth and trying to obtain a relationship situation. So when I'm not doing this, I'm doing other things. And one of the things that I do is I do ads for people. People will hire me to like read their script and send it back to them. And that makes money that way. And you've probably seen some of these ads actually all over like YouTube and Facebook or whatnot. Right. And so uh, there'll be some times where a person will hit me up and they'll say, Hey, we want you to do this ad or whatever. Here's the script for it. And I'll look at it and I'll say, okay, great. Based on the length of the script and whatnot, this is how much it's going to cost me to do this ad. And there's plenty of times where the person says, Hey, that's absolutely great. And I charge like a, a, a pretty good premium because I've been doing this for a lot of years. I'm very experienced. I have, I have high end equipment as you guys have seen from my live shows. And so I have no problem charging a little bit of a higher premium. And, but sometimes I'll get a person that comes along and they'll be like, Oh, I got this long script for you to do or whatever. And I'll be like, great. This is the price. And they'll come back and say, Oh, ooh, oh I can't. Oh my God. Like that's a little too high. Could you do it for like, this price instead, and it's usually like significantly lower. And early on in my career, when I was desperate for money, I would be like, okay, I guess I'll take the discounted rate and because some money is better than no money. But I'd be annoyed. Half the time, the people would be like, you know, asking for the most. It's funny how the people that want, to get, want you to give a discount ask for more stuff. And so I just learned over time, you know what? I don't want to deal with people if they're not giving me the terms that I'm putting forth. So if I'm saying I want, say, 400 bucks for a gig and they want to pay me $200, I'd rather not take their money because I, I'm standing on, I know what I want out of the deal. What I've also found is that there are times when people come and say, hey, can I get a discount? And my general response is that would not be fair to the other people who have been willing to pay the prices that I charge. So you know what? Best of luck to you. And hey, if per chance your budget changes, then hit me up. I would love to do your, your ad. And I'd say if you if I have 10 people that try to get a discount and I give them that spiel, I'd say about seven or eight of them end up saying, okay, I actually can pay what you're asking. And then I do the thing and I'm happy because I got the money that I wanted and they're happy because they got a stellar product. And so I found the same is also true in dating. I think the biggest folly that dudes make is they'll go out with a woman a couple of times and then she'll start giving that talk and spiel about, well, you know, I'm not sure if I see a relationship, but hey, we can be friends. Or sometimes you'll just ask a girl out. Hey, I think you're attractive. I'd love to take you out and see what's what. What do you say to a date? And a girl say, oh, well, you know, I'm not no really feeling it, but we, we can totally be friends or are we going to go out just as friends? And again, in my early days, I would think, you know what? Any time spent with her is totally fine. And maybe she just needs to spend more time with me so that way she'll realize what a great guy I am. And then she'll decide, you know what? Even though I said I wanted a friendship, I actually want a relationship now. The number of times that that ever ended up happening, at least in my case, zero, zero, because Usually when women say, hey, I just want to be friends, if I'm accepting those terms, then it makes it very hard to try to convince her later that I don't want those terms. And so what I found is that if I was interested in a woman and wanted to date her and inevitably said, hey, let's go out on a date. And if her response was, well, I don't know about that, but let's just be friends. I found that it worked better in my favor if I were to say something like this. You know what? That's great and all, but I really just, you know, I, I find you attractive enough to like want to take out. So, you know, I'll just take that off the table. And hey, you know what? If you change your mind about wanting to go on a date, then hit me up. I'd love to take you out sometime. And sometimes I do that. And I found the girl with, wasn't interested in more than trying to friendship, which is typically code for I'm not trying to hang out with you at all. But friendship is like, you know, the consolation prize. And there were also times where I would leave the woman alone for like, it might be a couple of days, might be a week, might be two or three weeks. And then they'd come back and then agree to a date. We'd go out, have a good time, and maybe do some stuff, you know? But I found ultimately that by any time that I would say, I would say yes to the friendship offer, 
I'd be in the friendship hella frustrated because I knew that I was there hoping this was going to turn romantic at some point and that she'd see the light. Meanwhile, she has no idea that I am still pining for her. And then if I try to ask her out later, it seems like a lie to her. Like, oh my God, I thought we were just friends. What's going on? And so I say all this to say this, is that for you guys out there that are thinking you want to pull a strategy of you're going to accept the lower tiered just friends offer in the hopes that you're going to spend enough time with her to change her mind. It's not that it can't happen, but the probability is super, super low. And I'm only trying to help you guys with things that give you a higher probability of working out. So you guys can tell me in the comments if you've ever been able to have it where you legitimately accepted a woman's friendship offer and then it eventually turned into romance. Because not to say it can't happen, I definitely have people in my life that were friends for a minute and then they became romantic, but it was on the woman's lead. The woman had to be the one to come to the guy and say, hey, so let's go out. Hey, I see you in this light. And the guy was just kind of there like, I, I, I was I, I was told it was a friendship and I thought it was going to be just like that. And then she changed her mind and I was like, cool, let's go with it, you know? But I say this because I don't want you guys accepting the friendship offer if that's not what you're in this for. If you are legitimately meeting a woman and you're taking time out of your day to set up an activity and are willing to spend your money, you do not need to be doing that with female friends or people that you are interested in that want to try to turn it into a friendship. That is not what you're there for. Your goal is to try to be a romantic partner and you thinking you're going to get in the back way by saying, okay, I'll accept this friendship and then I'm going to be nice to her and I'm going to still pay for her meals and I'm going to you know, compliment her all the time and I'm going to be there for her when she talks about these other guys that she's dating and how terrible they are and blah, blah, blah. Like if you think that is a winning strategy, uh, again, based on my experience, it has not been. If your experience is different, again, I would love to hear about it, but very rarely does that happen and I find more guys than warranted end up being really frustrated because they spend two, three, five, six years being friends with a woman thinking at some point she's going to see. And it, it just doesn't work that way for women. Like I know you're thinking more time spent is going to equal her logically realizing that you two belong together. For women, typically this is not about logic. It is about feelings and emotions. And those are things that you cannot negotiate. So if you, but I, but I have found that said that if she if she has a tinging of liking you enough to hang out with you and then you try to turn it romantic and she's like, I don't want to do that. You going away could actually be the catalyst for her starting to realize that her feelings for you go deeper than maybe even she expected. I've had several instances where women that I was I was kind of hanging out with, I suggested going on dates. They said they wanted to be friends and I started planning dates with other women. Lo and behold, they got the idea in their head that I was probably seeing other women. And then magically, they realized they had feelings for me. And so that's a better route to go because at that point, you're not forcing her to choose you. You're saying, if you don't want to choose me, hey, that's fine. Free will. It is what it is. I can find somebody else. And at that point, it now becomes a feelings decision because if she wants to keep you around, if she realizes overall that your guys' interaction is really, really great and that... You're, she's having a better time with you than possible, then her feeling the prospect of potentially losing you could be the thing that causes her to reevaluate if she wants to do this or not. Now, some of you will hear that and say, well, she should have been choosing me the whole time. Hey, women got their hangups too. Some women, they've been through the ringer with other guys and so they could be wanting to date you but are hesitant because they don't want to have a bad experience or maybe they don't want to, they're afraid of like, if that bond will get worse as you guys date. But the logic of that can be, you know, completely jumped over when she starts to feel when you're actually going away and you're actually pulling your attention and you're actually spending time with other women. Then they have to sit there and think, but do I like this feeling more or less than the feeling of him not being around? And that makes them think, oh, my God, I actually want him around more, but I could actually lose him. Like I'm feeling the loss. I'm already starting to hurt from it. And I don't want that to happen. But that's how you negotiate a woman that's just trying to be your friend into dating you is that you don't negotiate at all. You go the freak away, you let her feel what it's like to not have you around. And then based on the feeling she has about that, she can of her own accord, make the decision that, you know what? She actually wants to date you. Okay. But on your side of things, if it's a girl you legitimately want to date, do not, do not be accepting friendships. That is one of the worst things you could do. It's going to keep you in a cycle where she continues to think of you as a friend and rarely 
thinks about taking you over to the relationship side of things. At least it's in my experience. Again, let me know in the comments what your experience has been with that. And you can also take check out more of these videos on this channel. Feel free to give this a like and a subscribe and go to introvertdatingsuccess.com so you can get some more knowledge about how to be the kind of dater that women are going to want, even if initially they just wanted you as a friend. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>